motorbikes and helicopters. Oh, hang on a minute. Can't talk and walk. Multitasking, it's not a man thing. Fannying about with the cameras and YouTube and stuff. And uh, absolutely great. I'm so, so thankful to those people. In today's video, we're doing a five mile circular walk from our campsite in Crowden up onto the Pennine Way and down round the reservoir and back to the campsite. Climbing up a hill in Crowden, pretending, or I'm pretending, I'm someone like Des Green who can actually climb up hills. If you haven't seen Des Green's channel, well worth a look if you like hill walking. Some spectacular views on his channel, some great walks. He's generally not wheezing like I am, <laughs> but. I'll leave a link to Desi's channel in the description below. Anyway, we're just uh, doing a circular walk today. It goes up a hill a little bit, but for all sorts of reasons. Uh, this is to do with knees and joints. It's probably not a good idea for us to push it too far. We're quite early, so we've got the whole day. And I think we can do a nice little circular which takes in a bit of the hill here at Crowden and bring us back round to the reservoir in the previous video. And with picnics and that, it should be quite good. thing about this uh, little walk today that makes it feel like one of these uh, proper hill walking things well apart from that I'm going up a proper hill oh hang on a minute can't talk and walk multitasking it's not a man thing part of the reason this feels like a proper hill walk is we're going up here and Hazel's already disappeared outside we're going up here and if we get the map thing right we should connect with the Pennine Way albeit very briefly so I think it's basically up to the top of the hill or one of the hills and circling round back down to the reservoir but it's worth it just for the Incredible views and it's sunny today and the forecast is sunny all day so it should be good. But we're camped somewhere down in the valley there in them trees. Right. <laughs> My only concern is that uh, Hazel's gone a bit far ahead because she doesn't have much patience with fannying about with her cameras and YouTube and stuff. I just hope that, uh, I don't know, there she is. It's just uh, concerned that she hadn't gone off on the Pennine Way in the wrong direction. As I said on the Glastonbury tour video, we're feeling the effects of living in Suffolk with no hills for a year but we're gradually getting there yeah, 
so annoying when people are running and what you're struggling to walk yeah, there you go young people with energy anyway we're on the Pennine way say it's been a bit like the uh, M25 up here just now <laughs> how many people have just been passed probably nearly 40 or 50 I don't know there is groups group of climbers but here's the Pennine Way so it's a major walking route we're just here pretending we're doing the Pennine Way but we're probably only doing about a mile of it and I think so to say that the uh, although it was pretty much straight up from the flipping motorbikes and helicopters come out onto the Pennine Way for quiet yes although we're on the Pennine Way I think it's safe to say the uh, the bit we were just at up there is as high as we were going anyway so although it was uh, straight up more or less out of the campsite. I'm well, just doing this little bit of a circuit onto the Pennine Way and then sort of along the bit and then down the hill to the reservoir and then hoping to go right around the reservoir if uh, all parts of our bodies keep working. Don't know what we'll do if they don't. Anyway, glorious day. Distant memory of Crowden. Uh, left to my own devices, I probably would never have gone to the Lake District. Probably never visited here in the Peak District. Would never have ventured into Scotland. And uh, it was really a guy that worked in the youth club. Well, a couple that worked in the youth club back in the days when life was in black and white and uh, I was a teenager and they started taking us out to places like Crowden and I come up for the life to remember where we walked because uh, those years you know there was a period where it was pretty much every weekend or every other weekend they'd get the youth club minibus and uh, have a little gang of I don't know eight or nine people would pile in and because uh, the leaders I'm talking about were uh, um, skilled sort of walkers and mountain climbers been doing it for years and they kind of introduced us to this pastime and it's uh, I'm so glad they did because I think it's uh, taken me to some spectacular places and I know one of the places we came during youth club days was Crowden but whereabouts and which hills we walked I don't know because the youth club was in Manchester and we're about half an hour from Manchester here at Crowden so uh, yeah ventures into the Peak District places like Greenfield and uh, Saddleworth Moor those places I remember walks when it was uh, thick with snow you know and you'd wade through the snow up a hill and they'd know that there was a pub that was open at the top I'd go and get some food and a beer at the top so they were great days 
and then the same couple invited us to uh, go to the Lake District for a weekend and again when you live in Manchester Lake Districts I don't think it's much more than about an hour away is it really it's not far whereas where we live now you're talking about four or five hours and uh, yeah I used to go to the Lake District camping for a weekend just in tents and then I remember one time they uh, the couple that led us hired a camper van and loaned us there they had a bigger tent and so they as youth, as youth club kids slept in a big tent all together on the shores of Lake Coniston so really really grateful to those guys for just um, helping us understand that you can walk in the hills and how to do it and where to go so those trips I don't think those trips were things they got paid for I think they got paid for in the evenings working in the youth club but this was just something they did and built a little community around it great days great days I might even somewhere I've got a really old Polaroid black and white picture I took of a little gang of us I think just walking from where we lived in Manchester up to uh, Hartshead Pike which is like a tower overlooks uh, sort of Ashton and Lyon and Alden it's also been great for us to be those people uh, to introduce more young people uh, and our family to the Lake District and uh, they all love it and uh, absolutely great I'm so so thankful to those people another good channel if you're into hiking videos and uh, long walks up hills is tea in Valhalla with Kerry and Kat great couple and they do proper hikes I mean epic epic hikes as indeed does Des Green actually but uh, Kerry and Kat tea in Valhalla I'll leave a link to their channel in the description below got some great videos and there's often quite a bit of uh, history and uh, things to see along the way so uh, go and check out their channel the regular viewers will know walks and wonders they do little uh, walks I'm hoping to have a couple of uh, more <laughs> epic walks at some time if our uh, bodies will just uh, get back to how they used to be but we generally sort of short walks little wonders and interesting places bit of history and then there's a sort of a nature aspect to this channel and the eco-friendly stuff um, but it's great to be back out in the hills uh, having a proper walk and uh, memories of sort of uh, many times coming up into the hills of the Peak District back in the past it's an area um, we often forget we're always uh, itching to go up to the lakes which is much further away but uh, this is great to reconnect with the Peak District and we're on the Pennine Way we can pretend we're proper walkers and everything
So we're on the other side of the reservoir now, just doing a circle of the reservoir. Might actually get the walk up to about five miles or more, who knows? But we've got all day, no rush. Uh, blue skies, sunshine. Picnic in the bag. We'll find somewhere to sit down and have that soon. Just enjoy the uh, the walk in nature. Absolutely glorious. Basically we've done about three and a half miles now. Uh, just gone up from the campsite up onto the Pennine Way as you saw very briefly. And then uh, I think this is Tour Side Reservoir We're walking round. So before and a bit five miles by the time I get back to the campsite. These steps now, and unfortunately, I think it's just uh, on the roadside. It's going to be a bit noisy, but this will take us back to our campsite. Yeah, so if I was doing this walk again, I'd do it the opposite way around. Get this noisy bit of the road out of the way first, because the rest of it, uh, yeah, it's fairly quiet over that side. And uh, yeah, this is not the best way around. So we've just had all that 50 shades of green and uh, the quietness of the nature, and then you come out to all this angry traffic. Anyway, shortly we're all back at the campsite. The time to put the cat on.